Fiber and Fabric Clothes are made up of fabrics. A fabric is a continuous piece of cloth generally used as a dress material. Fabrics are of different kinds and each fabric is made up of a number of interwoven threads. These threads are known as yarn. Yarn is made up of fibers. Fibers are long, narrow, thin tube-like structures derived from plants and animals or produced artificially by man. Each fabric has a unique texture. This is because the various types of fabrics such as silk, cotton, nylon, etc. are made up of different raw materials. Though all of them appear to be one continuous piece, on a closer look, we can notice that they are weaved out of different materials, which give them a distinguished texture and appearance. Types of clothing Human beings use all types of clothing depending upon the weather. We feel mainly three types of seasons, that is, winter, summer, and rainy season. In winter season, we feel cool. As we are warm-blooded animals, it is necessary to maintain our body temperature. Thus, we use dark and heavy clothes in winters. In summers, the climate becomes hot. To keep ourselves cool, we use light cotton clothes. In rainy season, we use water-resistant clothes made up of water-resistant materials which prevents us from getting wet. Fiber In this concept, a girl is taking out a small thread of yarn from a woolen hat, after which she scratched the fiber and observed that the yarn gets split up into thin strands. These thin strands are made of very thinner strands called fibers. Types of fibers Fibers are of two types, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. For example, cotton, jute, silk and wool. Cotton and jute are examples of fibers obtained from plants. Wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals. Wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat. It is also obtained from the hair of rabbits, yak and camels. Silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of silkworm. Synthetic fibers Synthetic fibers are fibers made from chemical substances which are not obtained from plant or animal sources. Some examples of synthetic fibers are polyester, nylon and acrylic. Cotton plant The botanical name of the cotton plant is Gossypium hirsutum. These plants grow very well in swampy areas. A good crop of cotton needs a long, sunny growing season, black soil and ample water. Cotton Harvesting Seedling appears about 5 days after planting the seeds. The first flower buds appear after 5 to 6 weeks and in another 3 to 5 weeks, these buds become flowers. Each fiber grows to its full length in 3 weeks. About 10 weeks after flowering, it splits. Gradually, these fibers dry in the sun, turning fluffy and white as snow. Now, these are ready for harvesting. Ginning Ginning is the process by which harvested cotton is dried and the fibers are separated from their seeds. At first, harvested cotton fibers are put in the ginning machine. This machine can be operated by manually or by electric current. Seeds are separated by rotating brushes and then it is sent for combing and spinning. The loose fibers are combed to form long ropes like silver. Spinning involves the drawing out, twisting and winding of fibers into continuous thread or yarn. The yarn is then wound on bobbins. These bobbins are used to weave clothes. Jute Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. It is cultivated during the rainy season. Jute is mainly grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam in India. The jute plant is normally harvested 
when it is at flowering stage. The stems of the harvested plants are immersed in water for a few days. The stems rot and fibers are separated by hand. Jute is a long, soft, shiny plant fiber that can be spun into coarse and strong threads. It is produced from plant of the genus Corcorus. Jute fibers are composed primarily of the plant's materials such as cellulose and lignin. The plants are about 15 to 20 centimeters tall. These are harvested during flowering stage. Then stems are cut off close to the ground and are left to dry for some time. When dried, the stems are tied into bundles and soaked in water for about 20 days. It softens the tissues and permits the fibers to be separated. Then the fibers are stripped by hand from the stalks in long strands by jerking and pulling the strands. After two to three days of drying, the fibers are tied into bundles. Spinning Spinning is the process of making yarn by twisting the fibers together. A spinning wheel is the device used for spinning the fibers to form threads. It is called as charkha. Weaving Weaving is defined as process of interlacing two distinct sets of yarn for fabric. Loom is the device used to weave the fabric. A loom holds the wrap threads in place while filling threads are woven through them. Weaving of paper strips. Weaving is the process of arranging two fibers together. We can explain this using an example of two paper strips of different colors. Cut these strips into square pieces and fold them into two halves. Now, draw lines on both the sheets and cut them along the dotted line. Weave the paper strips one by one through the cuts on the sheet of paper, resulting in a completely weaved sheet. Knitting Knitting is a method by which a thread or yarn may be turned into cloth or other fine crafts. Knitted fabric consists of consecutive loops called stitches. Knitting may be done by hand or by using machines. There exist numerous styles and methods of hand knitting. As early man started agricultural activities, he learned the method of making ropes by braiding and twisting together thin long grasses. Then people started using the hand spindle, takli and charkha to make yarn from cotton or wool, then weaving them on loom.